Hello there, sorry from 17 once again. This is my Call of Duty 4 remastered veteran walkthrough. This is no fighting in the war room, it needs no introduction. This is one of the hardest missions in Call of Duty history. I have never struggled on any other mission the way I struggled on this. Outside of potentially Mile High Club, but that was because of my own inability to shoot the dude at the end, which I don't really count. So this sucks. There's, there's no getting around it. This mission always sucked, and it sucked because the checkpoints are sporadic. Depending on how you push this particular part of the game will depend on when you get checkpoints. If you get a bad checkpoint or no checkpoint, you can have a miserable time. If you get the right checkpoints, you will do just fine. But the hard point is, is coming up. It's when you go down a set of stairs. In this beginning area, you can get killed really quick on that first corner, but for the most, you're not going to have too many issues here. It's when you get to the stairs. After the stairs, the checkpoints can be seemingly random, and once again, if they don't work in your favour, it can be tricky. The one thing that I'm, I'm quite amazed happened when I was recording this is from the stairs to the end of this level, I didn't die. And if you've ever played No Fighting in the War Room, on the, these are the stairs by the way, you will know this next section coming up is a labyrinthine maze of enemies waiting to instantly murder you. If you go left or right, it doesn't matter. There are enemies hiding behind every box, every corner, every crevice, and it is just a nightmare. And then you get to the worse part after this, because this bit's really tough, and then the bit afterwards is worse, where there is, do you go forward, do you go left or right? Well, you can't go forwards, and left and right, there are shotgun people, and shotgun people kill you instantly. So it was just bad news bears. Look at this. Look at what's happening. Like, this just doesn't happen, guys. At this point, I'm already dead, and I'm, I'm rushing with MP4 hipfire. That's a grenade, so you need to get away from it. They always roll towards you, so always move. But I'm going to push the right-hand side, and all I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to pre-fire every corner, because I know people could potentially be there. I'm going to keep watching my sides and my back, and I'm going to pre-fire coming around corners. Hopefully, the bullet make the enemy flinch, and they don't shoot me back. Here's a couple grenades. This is another moment where I should have died, and I didn't. There's another guy pre fire him as you go around the corner. When you push forward, always pre-fire the corners. Always check your back. Always check every crevice. And then when you get to this point, you're kind of like, Jesus, I'm nearly there. What's going on? And your team's going to push up now because you've moved here. So use your grenades. Uh, don't do... I don't even know how that happened. But that was my grenade that did that, I think. It bounced off some invisible piece of collision and it wasn't good. But there's a flash. Flash myself a little bit. Doesn't matter. As soon as you get around here, there should be a checkpoint as they run away. There it was. As long as you get that checkpoint, you're fine. But there's chances where you don't get that. Uh, I've done this level and not got that checkpoint. And then there's this bit, which, if you don't remember this bit, I can't imagine you played this level. And there's Price nearly getting me killed. Thanks, Price. Collision wanker. Like, that's so stupid, that dude. Why would he stand exactly where I am so that I can't back up when I'm being shot? You know, I don't know how people design these games, but when you stood in the player's path, why not fucking move? Why is there not just an instant piece of programming that plays that says, maybe you should relocate away from the player? There you go, Price, that's what you get, dickhead. And now this bit. So, depending on if you go left or right will depend on nothing, because they both have shotgunners waiting for you. So flash one, kill one, and then go the other path if you can. Uh, this bit can be a nightmare. Trust me on this. It's just not good. I'm going to put the tubes back on because the tubes are very powerful. I think one of the reasons I struggled so much with this section is because on my first run through this game, I didn't use the noob tubes on principle because I just disagreed with them. The multiplayer was so full of that shit, I didn't want to be part of it. But I don't care anymore, so there's a grenade, there's a couple noob tubes. There's a dead shotgunner with the shotgun. There's a guy in this room as well. There's a guy behind me and there's a guy to my left. See that? There's no way that happened in COD 4. You're dead. Doesn't happen. And this corridor, bunch of really accurate guys on the other side. See that? Didn't even get shot. He shot me and he hurt a lot. That's some proper veteran damage right there. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to strafe the doorway and I'm going to use the AK to hit fire. Oh no, I'm going to ADS. Is he dead? Guy behind him. Try and wall bang. Nothing. Be careful pushing through here as well because sometimes you don't get a checkpoint. There's another guy in this room always to the left. So just what? Did you see him? See him just there? Use your grenades. Rush him. Wow, he didn't get flashed. What a beast. Spetsnaz with a shotgun. Terrifying moment. See, I'm checking the difficulty. I'm like, is this really veteran? This is not how this level works. That's how this level works. You see that? That's what this... Every enemy should be doing that. But they're not. They're giving me a grace period. They're cheating, effectively. They're cheating themselves. You know? 
The parents aren't angry, they're disappointed. So I'm going to put a bunch of noob tubes down this corridor because I know if I can rush through this hallway to my right, we've done it. And that's it. And I just nearly killed all my buddies with a grenade. And I'm also about to get gassed by the steam because if you stay here, I think you die. Which is interesting. But there it is, guys. No fighting in the war room on veteran in one credit. That does not work. I am stunned right now. And it's not because I'm a good gamer. It's nothing to do with me. It's this game has been broken. They have literally Ivan Drago'd it for no reason. There's no reason why they had to touch the campaign. The campaign was fine. You know? It was a difficulty that made you pull your fucking teeth out. But that's what difficulties are meant to do. <laughs> All the most memorable difficulties... There's me skipping the door opening because it takes nine weeks. Could conceive a child and birth it in the time those doors take to open. There's a guy trying to get away, not on my watch. I love the AK, dude. It's such a powerful gun. Absolutely adore it. Wow, that was some veteran damage. It's a bit more like it video game. There's also one variable to think about here, guys, and that is just the, the, the fortune of, of playing games. There are moments in video games where you don't get shot. There are moments when you play that same thing, do the same thing you did, and you get shot 20 times. This happens a lot. It's difficult on YouTube to speak about the look of playing a game, because a lot of people will just think that you're on a lower difficulty, doubt it, and, and call you a liar, and insult your integrity and things like that because it's easier for their ego to think that you're cheating rather than the game is giving you some small mercies and you'll never get away from that because unfortunately it's just the nature of the beast. The, uh, the first reaction of most humans is to doubt because they can't conceive a world where you can do something that they can't and it's just the ego sheltering itself. It's a very powerful impulse that we have and we all do have it. It's just are you cognizant of it and can you suppress it? Because let's face it, we all think we're the king of the world and we're not. We're generally paupers. And there will always be somebody better than you in every conceivable way. And it's just a fact of life. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It just means that there's somebody out there who's really, really, really good. But now you've pushed into the control panel. There's a lot of teammates here, so be careful shooting people or you might fail. And all you have to do is clear the room and then go and touch that console that glows gold. It's just in the middle here. It's the left computer bank. Do you see it just there? And then once you hit this, it's the end of the mission, effectively. But you do have to run out. And running out can incur a death or two, if you're not careful. There's me checking the difficulty again. Something's wrong with this game. Or I'm a genius. I'm either the best gamer on the planet, or this game got easier. And I know which one it is. Because this game got way easier. But you're going to push through here. And there's going to be a bunch of people running towards you. So if you can hit them early, you can flinch them and you can put them down. If they get set up, a little tougher. But you might be watching this, you might be new to the channel. And you might be wondering what I do here on my channel. If you've not checked it out and you're just listening to this video. Well, I do a lot of different types of videos, but I specialise in walkthroughs. Walkthroughs are an interesting discussion recently because games have been getting a lot easier. This is another victim of this make it so easy any motherfucker could do it. So walkthroughs aren't really needed as much as they used to be, so I'm looking to diversify and, and change directions and continue to evolve. But coming up is Final Fantasy XV, and the channel's going to be having quite a lot of Final Fantasy XV on it, but it's going to be a different approach, and I'm going to hopefully surprise some people with the content, and hopefully it'll get received well. But in the interim, there is also going to be the conclusion of Bioshock, there's going to be the conclusion of Uncharted, there's going to be more God Hand videos. Uh, God Hand will probably be the least incentivized of all the videos, not because I don't love it, I do. It's just, uh, not everybody loves it as much as me, and it is one of the worst performing things on my channel. And I don't normally go off of views, because if I went off of views, I would have quit YouTube a long time ago. But I want to see what people are resonating with, and the God Hand is not resonating as much. So that will be the one that is the least incentivized, while everything else will be finishing up as well. Uh, there is also going to be other kinds of footage hitting the channel. Uh, I don't want to say too, too much too soon, but hopefully you'll enjoy it when it does turn up, and of course there will be more Titanfall too. So... I'd like to thank everybody who took the time to watch this walkthrough, if you made it this far. It means a lot to me, and you're the people that keep the lights on. And if you're just new and you're watching this and it helped, well, thank you for watching, and you take care now.